Well, hey there, Shalligators. Welcome back. We have some breaking news out of a place we don't talk about that often. The YouTube universe. The YouTubeverse. The YouTube... YouTube universe. Bad place. I don't talk about YouTubers a lot because I don't follow a ton of YouTubers, but I do know James Charles. Look, I spilled water on myself and now it looks like I'm lactating. How sex... And am I too lazy to get up and change my shirt? I am. This is why you guys tune in for this high quality content. Like I was saying, I do know about James Charles and boy, oh boy, if you know James or if you follow him or if you even are on <laughs> not very niche sites like Google and CNN, you have heard the news that James is being accused again of some very inappropriate things with someone very much underage. The people are calling him a groomer. Groomer has it. God, I'm good at my job. Groomer has it that James was set, basically sexting and sending nudes and receiving nudes from a dude who was not 18 as he thought, James is 21, but was actually 16. Now the kid in question who is like, I don't know, also on social media, I mean, he's not an influencer, but he's like, um, I am 16. It's literally in my TikTok bio. And James is like, well, I didn't check your TikTok bio. This was over Snapchat. And now James is like, I'm going to be asking everyone for ID that I talked to. We're going to break this down a little bit more, but most importantly, we're going to talk about what we can learn from this. Because when I first heard about this, I'm like, what is there to say? And then my friend Cotton, check her out, Cotty Tolly, she's a fantastic beauty guru. She's like, you know, I feel like people aren't talking to girls and women, not even just girls, just people aren't talking about sending nudes. Now, I've done some videos in the past on sending nudes when we covered Bella Thorne's like nude photo hack. That was really bad. Poor girl. And... I want to kind of reiterate that message. No nudes is good nudes. It's a bold statement, but I'm going to show you how to take a photo that's sexy, but if if it got out, your life isn't ruined, and I'm actually going to share with you a photo I would send to a guy. I've, I got a whole folder, child. I could do this all day. But before we get started, be sure to follow me on Instagram at ShallonXO. If you would like a video shout out or a little video chit chat with me, head to Cameo. I'm ShallonXO over there. Also, be sure to follow my new blog where I'm talking about dudes I'm dating and being in the trenches with you. I'm actually going to start posting uh, like Tinder profiles because like fuck dudes, you know, like, fuck them. Also, head over to Flays. It's our uncensored ad free platform. I just have a video up tonight about my Hurt Locker, how I got over my ultimate Hurt Locker because I just saw him last week and it's like bananas and my whole life is different. I'm not even kidding you. I can't get over this. Oh, I just, could my hair be a little, could it be like lactation length? Okay. So James Charles, mm, he just keeps stepping in it. So this isn't the first time that James has been kind of accused of going after really young dudes. I, I think Toddy Westbrook, talked about this in a video when she did her whole exposure thing. I'm actually not here to talk about this. It's kind of gross. But the too long didn't read is they were swapping wiener pics and James was like, it was very lewd. And his, his sort of like version of this is, and when I found out he was 16, when he finally admitted, I said, I feel very uncomfortable. And he's like, no, we can keep talking. The kid is like, he knew from the beginning how old I was. And I felt pressured to send these photos. So this is, they both are saying the other person is lying. And apparently this kid is going to the cops. So, I mean, if he's bluffing, the cops are going to call that bluff like they're pretty good at finding liars and I don't know many 16 year olds who can outsmart the police I want to know what you guys think about this I I don't know but what I do know what I do know what you know what I know about I know about these I know about these babies I know about everything going on I know about my body not just my body but the value of my body right if someone asked, can I have the keys to your mom's car? Can I have uh, the keys to your dad's boat? Can I have your credit card? Can I have your social security number? Can I have your bank account number? Can I have your email password? What would you say? No, you can't. No, you can't have those. Why? Why wouldn't you hand over the keys to your mom's car? Why wouldn't you give someone your credit card? Because you know the value of those things. They have a very specific value. Mom's car's 40 grand. You got this much on your credit card left to spend, right? Why do we hand over the keys to our body? When we do that, do you know what we're saying to that other person? 
Oh, this has no value. Sure, you can have it. You know what I give freely? Gum. A Kleenex. I hold open a door. I'll even give a chick a tampon in the bathroom or a hair tie. Those have almost no value to me. I've got tons of them. I can get them. I can get more. They're, it's low, low value. My body is not gum. It's not a hair tie in a fucking bathroom line. Okay? It is more valuable and more precious than any car, any bank account, any house, anything. And I know that. And I also know that when a guy is asking me for nudes, all he's doing is trophy hunting. Well, Sean, that's, yeah, I know. Like, we know he's trophy hunting. Like, that's, hello, it's a good thing. No, 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 no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I live in Montana. People do a lot of hunting out here. And you know, you know how they get a trophy? They fucking kill it. And they're actually not super discriminatory about what it is. But they want to go for the biggest elk they can find, right? The biggest deer, that eight point buck is 12 point, a whole bunch of points, a whole bunch of point buck. That's what they want to get. So they're going to go for a girl and ask her for nudes, either who is like a smoke show, like the popular girl school, right? Or they're going to ask for nudes with the minimum amount of effort involved. And don't we see a correlation there? Don't we see a correlation between guys who ask for nudes who actually, well, they aren't taking us out on dates. And I mean, he doesn't even actually talk to me at school. And um, no, I'm, I'm never around his friends. And I don't think he's told his parents about me. So he won't post me on Instagram, of course. I mean, we don't even really text. We Snapchat. Does that sound familiar? That's who asked me for nudes. Guys I don't really know. Guys who, if I do know them, they have no respect for me. Trophy hunting and a guy asking you for nudes, baby girl, it is not a compliment. It's not a compliment. I have learned that the hard way. I have never sent a nude in my life. I just don't. Like, I'm just not like a naked kind of person. I like my body, but again, I know it's value. I'm not the girl at Senior Frogs on spring break, like showing her tits to everyone. I'm just not that way. I love my body and I will show it off in like my own little like snappy classy way. But that belongs to me. I've always said that my philosophy was sending sexy pictures. Maxim, not Playboy. Like Victoria's Secret, not like porn. I leave a lot to the imagination because honestly, I think it's so much more. If I'm talking about trophy hunting, I want to know that I got a guy hard. I got a guy off. I got a guy like hooked into me so wrapped. And oh my God, I'm opening your snaps in two seconds with like, leg pictures with like collar but like sexy boudoir -y things not like here's my veg <laughs> because look let's go back to this trophy hunting things do you think a guy doesn't know what a vagina looks like think he's never seen a pair of tits before let's say that he hasn't let's say he hasn't he's like just really jonesing for that vag right just want a big old vag in his face it's what he's after he can, I typed in, this is, I always give this example. I was looking for a vacuum cleaner online. I typed in VA, brrr, Vag Central, baby. You don't even need to type the whole word. You can just type VA and you get vagina every which way you turn. So if that's what he really wants, if he's just like really horny and he wants to see a vag, my God, there's so much free porn. There, you have to do almost no effort. He's not going to like hit up a girl put himself out on an emotional risky limb because if he likes you in the right way, that is an emotionally risky limb, right? Would you ever ask a guy who you like, I think I'm falling in love with him and I just really like him and I want him to like me and want him to see me as like a great girlfriend and the kind you take home to mom. Would you be like, hey, can you send me a picture of your butthole? Would you ever do that? No, you would never, ever risk blowing things with someone you were actually super into. I'm an adult. I know a lot of married people, been to a lot of weddings. Not one, not one married couple, not one couple who's actually legitimately dating has begun with the swapping of genital pics. It does not work that way. And I get I bet one of you guys, I bet, I bet there's going to be someone in the comments. Well, my boyfriend and I did. I don't want your fucking trick ass boyfriend. How about that? I actually don't want to be like, oh, the guy who asked for pictures of your butthole on Snapchat and he's never met me yet. That's my man. <laughs> you can have him.
him. You can have Dennis, okay? Take fucking Tyler from the gas station and walk away. He's all yours, Bethany. Crystal. <laughs> oh, God. So if... Trophy hunting. A guy is asking you for nudes to see how far he can push you. Because you know what he's doing? He's sitting around with his friends and he's like, watch this. I'm going to get some titty pics. Just watch this. Tyler, watch this. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Hey, beautiful. What are you doing? Send me a pic. No, not like that. I want to see your body. Ooh, you're so hot. Show me more. Blah. 15 fucking minutes later, you're spread eagle on your dad's couch, sending pics to some douchebag. And you know what he's doing? Uh, <laughs> he's holding it up like Simba, right? Showing all his friends. And do you know what phrases he is saying when he does that? Look what I got this slut to do. This is her pussy. <laughs> no, I don't even talk to her. I don't even fuck, I don't even fuck her. No, I don't talk to her at school. She's some hoe in my math class. We got to walk in the light of the truth on this. We have to. Because burying our head in the sand... And pretending that gross, disrespectful fuckboys are using any other kind of rhetoric to describe our literally priceless bodies, we then become our own co-conspirator. I said the other day, and one of my fan accounts turned into like a little quote meme, no one hurts me the way I do. No one abuses my mind, my heart, my body, my dignity worse than me. I do it. I do it to myself. A guy is always going to ask for shitty things. I mean, shitty guys will. Shitty people are always going to ask for shitty things. And I don't just mean guys. Friends, family, bosses, coworkers. People are always going to try to push you as far as they can to get what they want. That's human nature. But when that has worked, when shitty people have done shitty things to me, oh, here's the keys. Boop. There you go. Okay. Betrayal, like true betrayal is honestly sort of rare. When we think about it, when we look at duplicitous shitty people in our lives, there were red flags. And it is our life's work to follow, find, log and notice and see those red flags coming from a distance instead of right in our faces over and over and over again. It's our life's work to learn from our past mistakes. But we can't do that if we're not aware of it. No one can change what they don't acknowledge. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Shallon, I'm in a loving relationship. First of all, okay, first of all, I love my body. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not ashamed to show off my body. This is not about shame. I'm not ashamed to show off my car. I'm not giving someone the fucking keys to it, right? This is not, no, I love my body. Good, I do too, cool. I'm in a loving relationship. And you know what? I always send my boyfriend's nude. I always do. And he would never betray me. Do you think anyone who has been betrayed said anything different? And like I just said, in our heart of hearts, many times we knew. But what we didn't know was the severity and the degree and the when and the how. We just had this bad feeling. I dated someone who was very, very volatile. Very volatile. And it's like, but I I actually never even witnessed that in real life. But it's like, I could just feel it was there. And holy shit, was it ever. <sighs> just a million messes. And it's like, the way it manifested, I didn't know. I didn't know, but I did always have that anxiety that like something bad might be around the corner. And so I was never fully at rest in the relationship. I was always like, uh, huh. And then when it did inevitably snap and things did reveal themselves, I was like, fucking God damn it. I knew it. And it's like, you know, you see in these movies, these like sword fighting movies, they're just like swinging wildly at the guards. It's like they're coming from all sides. That's how you feel. In a relationship where there's something, there's something under there. You're like, mm, nope, 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 nope. That's that's not resonating. But let's say that that's not true. Let's say you're like, no, I love my boyfriend. He's wonderful. And so what if I send him sexy pics? So what? Because life is so fucking long, girl. You're going to live to be like 95, right? Think about the things that are being unearthed on the internet from even like 
10 years ago, 15 years ago. You know your MySpace, I mean, you guys aren't on MySpace, but I was. Your MySpace page is never actually deleted. It's like archived out there somewhere. Almost everything you do is archived. It's hackable. <sighs> the internet is forever, okay? And so is revenge. You might be in a wonderful loving spot right now, and that might go on for five years, 10 years. But look, either you're gonna die together at 95 or you will break up. I mean, that's the reality, right? That's the reality of dating. Either we die in each other's arms or at some point we're gonna break up. And if we break up, chances are one person is not ultra happy about that. Maybe not in the moment, maybe down the line, Maybe they see an opportunity for a payday. Maybe they're like, you know what? You can go fuck yourself. The volatile relationship I was talking about, oh, that was like an afterburn. That was like after we broke up, I thought things were cool and it was just like boom, 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 boom. You don't truly know someone's mind. And many times people truly don't know. They don't know either. If you asked, if you asked any guy, maybe not any guy, but most decent dudes, would you ever put those nudes on the internet? They'd be like, no, no. <laughs> But they get there. If you ask most reasonable women, would you ever, I don't know, smash a dude's like windshield out with a baseball bat? No. Oh my God. I'm so in love with him. The opposite of love isn't hate. It's apathy. And if you have extreme love for a person, you are capable of having extreme hate. One thing I don't like is being stalked. I don't like it. I've had stalkers. I've had several right? It's not fun. It's not cute. It's not fucking flattering. It's losers who lurk in the shadows who are too chicken shit to come out and fight me. And you know what? I wouldn't want to fight me either. So I guess I don't blame them. And to have nudes circulating out in the world sent, fuck, what's going to happen? He's not talking to me anymore. Every time he doesn't text back. Every time maybe you see another girl in the Snapchat and you're like, what? Every time you hear him tell maybe kind of an off-color joke, you're like, hmm. You know what you've got? You've got a stalker situation. You have got information that is stalking you. You've got photos that are going to stalk you forever. I'm not trying to terrorize you if you already have sent them. I'm not. Because there's ways around this, okay? Like, you can you can compel people to stop pretty easily, especially if you're a minor. If you're um, if you're under 18 and someone is threatening to post your nudes, it's, that's a crime. They don't even have to post them. That's a crime. Call the fucking police. You tell me, you tell daddy here, shall I to call the police? I'm not nice, okay? Go to a lawyer. They'll work on contingency. Take it to the streets and be like, hey, this dude is threatening to post pictures that he pressured me to send, blah, blah, blah. You don't want this in your rear view. You never know where life is going to go. Maybe you're going to run for office one day. Maybe you're going to be like, marry a prince. It's not about who you marry. Maybe you just don't want to have that little, every time you log in, every time you open your email, that little like fright, jumpy thing in your rear view forever. I don't. So I don't send those pictures. Now, look, I had the advantage of like, I'm a thousand years old. So people weren't asking for nudes when I was like a very impressionable, vulnerable young woman. You know, I could, I'd say that I would have sent them. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have. I, it's just, it's just not in my nature. You know, maybe I do love my body, but that's been a really long journey. And historically, like I haven't even, it's like, I, I knew I was like hot, but I like also hated myself. I don't know. It's, body image is a very complex thing. We've talked about this a lot. So what do you do if someone is pressuring you to send nudes? You call their bluff. Because this is when my opinion on nudes changed. It was like years ago and I had been on vacation someplace and I'd like, oh, I think I'd like opened Tinder and then, you know, it like keeps matching you with people from that place, even though you're like, I'm 1900 miles away now. But it matched me with this dude in Texas. I'm obviously was in Texas and he was gorgeous. I mean, just like so hot, like, change truck just so hot so sexy and such a fucking douchebag first of all he was like do you want to see my dick I was like I no I absolutely don't sending me a picture of your dick is like sending me a picture of your dinner is it going in my mouth not right now so I don't need to see it got nothing to do with that right so then when I was like no I don't want to see that he started um asking me for nudes well, come on, show me you, show me your body. You're so sexy. I was like, I know I'm sexy. That's why I don't send these pictures because I don't need someone to tell me that I'm sexy. I know it. And he's, th this motherfucker then said, if you don't send them, I'm going to block you. I was like, that would be fantastic. Thank you. 
Call their bluff. What kind of quality man is extorting you for photos of your vagina? Which which Shakespearean sonnet was that mentioned in? I'm a little I'm a little fuzzy. Which aisle at the Hallmark store references that in the greeting cards? And I was like, go fucking go right ahead. I don't I don't even know you, dude. We also live like 1900 miles apart. It's not like I'm going to interact with that dick of yours or whatever. So then he starts sending me dick pics. And this was my response. Because why does it always seem to go like that? They badger us for photos. Then they send us pictures of their dick. Like, well, you know why? Because then that creates this um, this air of indebtedness. This is actually a manipulation technique. It's like if you go someplace and they give you like a free sample of like the little coffee. And then you're like, I guess I'll buy something. You know, you go to Costco, you eat the meatballs. You're like, all right. It truly is a psychological thing. People feel indebted, and especially women, because we are taught that we owe people everything. Oh my God, do you want my whole body? That's fine. Do you want all my time? Okay, you want me to fix you? It sounds good. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I exist. I'm so sorry. So they're going to prey on that. Because fuck boys, like, <laughs> they're like any virus. They adapt, and then they feed off their host, and they destroy it, don't they? So he's going to send you pictures of his dick, right? Be like, okay, I showed you mine. You better respond. You know what I did? You know what I wrote back? Why would you send me a picture of a child's penis? Don't send me a child's penis. It was huge. It wasn't a child's penis. And he's like, that's not, what are you talking about? This is not a child's penis. I was like, that's a baby dick. Why would you send me that? I'm going to report you. Why are you passing child porn around the internet? <laughs> I bet that motherfucker didn't send a dick pic for a very long time. Shame them. Shame on you. Sometimes I've literally written back, shame on you. Shallon, don't body shame. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, I'm going to body shame men who are trying to extort us for pictures of our body so they can show it around and trophy hunt and then fucking drop us and call us sluts. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to body shame those dudes. You want me to do it? Send them to me. Like, CC me on your Snapchats and be like, hey, baby dick, uh, we're reporting you to the FBI for passing around, like, child dicks, child penises. Ugh. Or is that, a, is that a dog wiener? I don't know. It doesn't even look human. Super gross. If that's a little too much, because I get it. I'm a bit of a war machine, and I like war, so that can be a bit much. Call them out. Be like, you know what? A quality guy wouldn't be asking for these. Put it right back on him. Make him justify his manhood and his level of quality to you. Flip the script. He's trying to set up the construct where, again, you owe him something. And you're the idiot. You're somehow the slut or the prude, the whatever. He's holding this sort of Damocles over you. No, 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 no. You turn that shit around. And he'd be like, I just want to see your body. And you could say, no, that, I'm sorry. That's not, what I, that's not what I said. A quality man who was raised right would never ask a woman for these. He would, the first time she said no, he would never bring it up again. Are you that guy? Or are you kind of the guy who doesn't hear no? Are you a rapist? If this was in real life and I said no, what, would that like stop you or would you just keep going? What? Sounds extreme, doesn't it? Maybe it's time we're a little bit extreme, huh? Maybe it's time we took back the power, a little bit of pussy power. It's fucking women's month. It's vagina month, titty month, nipple month. I love it. So yeah, let's get extreme. Because you know what that does? You want to talk about holding something up and showing people? That is exactly what that does. He is going to, first of all, never again ask you for nudes. And if he's sitting around, he's like bitch ass little clubhouse with his dipshit friends. And they're like, oh. I'm totally going to ask Mackenzie for news. Watch this, watch this. He's going to be like, bro, she's going to come at you so hard. Just, it's not even going to work. And don't send her a picture of your dick. She's going to say it's a child's dick. They're going to be like, you have a child's dick? No. I mean, it's the gift that keeps on giving. This kind of like douche shaming. So let's do it. You want to talk about a fucking virus? We can be a virus too. Because once you get one, baby, it never goes away. So let's be that to these hideous fuck boys. Asking for insulting, terrible things. And look, if you really do want to have some sexy photos, I'm not saying I sit there and like, mm, no consent. But if someone's really pressuring me, I go fucking hard. I don't take, I don't take well to that. But if a guy's like, oh, send me a sexy picture and I like him and we trust each other. All right, I'll send you a sexy picture. It's not going to be like, 
No, it's not good. It's not going to be that. It's not ever going to be that. I don't do the phone sex. I don't do the FaceTime sex. I don't do it. And I also don't want to see it. Do not FaceTime me and jerk off. What am I supposed to do that? Ooh, yeah. No, yeah. Woo, there it goes. Ah. Again, it's like sending me a picture for dinner and making me like watch you eat it. I'm like, yeah, get that. That tortellini. Just put it in there. I got things to do, man. So you want to see the kind of pictures I send? Here, let's look. Oh, this is spicy, but I'm a spicy woman. There. This is the picture I've sent to boys. Plural. You know, because sometimes they're like, send me a pic right now. I was like, bitch, I'm driving. I don't have my hair and makeup on. I don't have the lighting. I'm not in a sexy mood. Like, cut it out. So I build like archives. My friends and I here in Montana, like 80% of the time we get together, we like get drunk and take nudes of each other. And they're just for us. They're for us. And we'll like send them back and forth to each other. Like, oh, remember when so-and-so looked at her? Oh, look, look at Heidi. She looks so babelicious. We love it. Like we show, I would rather show my nudes to my girlfriends and they'll be like, yeah, get it, bitch, you hot ass. Look at those calves. Then like some dude is going to be like, okay, more, more, more. Because here's the thing. Once you go vag, there's no going back. Once you send a picture, all like, I'm sorry that this is the only hand gesture I have, but, you, but like, you get it. You see me doing that? You're like, no, I get it. Where do you go from there? It's just this endless Yakum's ladder of like constantly escalating like sexy things. So when I post something like this, I mean, hey, I could roll over on my tummy. There could be a little curve. So many cool things. You can have things that are suggestive and sexy. If that got out, hey, I look good. You don't even know that's me. Oh my God, what if it's not? Oh, I've catfished y'all. No, it isn't. That's me. But like, I'm putting on the internet because I was like, I look fucking great. Whatever. I'm, I'm not mad about that. I don't feel vulnerable. There's nothing risky about it. It preserves the value of my body. And if that's too far past someone's comfort zone, great girl. Do what works for you. And if nothing even in the realm of sexy photos works for you, then don't do it. If a man is not satisfied with a picture of your pretty face, then you know what? He hasn't even reduced you down to a face. He's just reduced you to a vagina. Would you ever reduce your friends to that? Oh my gosh, Layla just got into law school. Oh yeah, no, no, shh, shh. Okay, Layla, but like, what have you done with your pussy lately? Like, what have you done with your vagina? Your friends would be like, what? What are you talking about? No, I'm just asking, because like, the only thing that matters about her like, is her vagina, <laughs> right? Like, that's... <laughs> That's like all she is, she's like a vagina. Like there's no like brain or heart or face or anything. Just a badge. I fucking dare you. I dare you to say that to your best friend, to your sister, to your mother. So why are you saying that to yourself? And by sending nudes, if you don't want to, or I mean, honestly, you know, don't, don't send them. You're never gonna regret not sending them. You're never gonna regret that, never. By doing things you don't want to do, you are saying to yourself and to this person, you know what? You're right. I'm just a hole. I'm an orifice waiting to be filled and spit out some babies. I don't believe that's who you are. Your friends don't believe that's who you are. Do not reduce yourself thusly. Know your value. Know your worth. Stick to it. I want to know y'all's thoughts on nudes. So Show some of y'all sexy photos. Don't you wish we could have like a like a Google Doc of like sexy photos so that we can like swap back and forth? It's like, oh, if you're blonde and fair, here's a picture you can send to a dude. My friends, I used to do that. It was actually genius. Tell me also what your thoughts are on James Charles and we will see you tomorrow with some videos on Bieber and Billie Eilish. Mwah!